My name is Robert Foote. I'm the general manager of Community Minded Television, Spokane's Channel 14. We're the community access channel, and as the general manager, it's my job to make sure that that channel stays in operation and on the air. The most important thing people should know about Community Minded Television is it doesn't matter whether you're 14 or 84, if you have a desire to create a television program, we can teach you, we can help you, we can mentor you through the process of what it takes to get an idea from inside of your head and onto the screen for, for the rest of the region to see. The purpose of Community Minded Television is uh, we're the community access channel for Spokane, which means we give the community access to the airwaves. We're the only station in town where if you create a, a video or a film or a documentary, you know, documentary, whether it be sports related, politics related, uh, social justice related, you can actually put that piece on the airwaves for everybody within the, uh, the Spokane region, you know, 107,000 households, give or take, um, around the area an opportunity to see that and, and you know bring your issue to light. Um, we've got cameras, lights, microphones, uh, editing software, you know cutting edge editing software and programs that uh, they're, you know we try to stay as state of the art as possible. Um, we can provide trainings and, uh, and, and we've done that for recent retirees even who have found an entirely new career, something they always wanted to do but never had the ability or skill. Um, you know, bringing them right to, through to the point where they've purchased their own, you know, higher end professional consumer camera, prosumer camera, and uh, and editing software packages, and then and then still continue to mentor them through the process, through that growth process that helps them become, you know, better filmmakers. Community minded television is is what we call a push technology, which mean which means you don't specifically have to seek out that information. It's right there just like any other channel on your dial. So um, it's nice to be able to offer that to the community and uh, you know our, our legislators way back in the day, starting with Barry Goldwater, who created the Federal Communications Act, um, made sure that the public was going to have access to the airwaves through public education and government channels uh, because you know non-commercial television as we like to call it, is uh, sometimes not you know the destination station for a lot of people, but it is where a lot of people can find out about local issues, uh, local politics, you know, local matters, things that matter in your community. Definitely one of the most enjoyable experiences I, I ever had uh, creating something was um, we we produced, edited, directed, whatever you know, we entirely produced. Uh, 67 public service announcements for uh, for nonprofit organizations in the Spokane area um, back in 2009. It really opened up my my eyes to how many people there are in this community that that work for others, uh, you know, so that other people can better their life through um, social service programs. We had everything from uh, you know non-profit basketball camps in the summertime for, for underprivileged kids to uh, organizations that take kids on you know mountain climbing, um, that build houses, that uh, you know provide community radio, you know volunteer driven and volunteer based organizations that do a lot of good work here and that was that was really really eye-opening to see all of them come together over the course of a matter of a few days and, um, and, and you know, bring their individual messages to us. We continue to run those messages even today, even a couple of years later, you'll still see them on, uh, on community-minded television. I, I personally think that all of those things combined really help bring Spokane into a, to a whole nother dimension as far as you know, uh, you know, coming together as a, as a city uh, or as a region and uh, trying to lift everybody up out of poverty or out of homelessness or, or out of addiction. Um, you know, it's just a, a phenomenal feeling. Now on the creative side, um, we do a program called Tour Stop where we get to sit down with, uh, with nationally signed artists as they're kind of coming through town and, uh, and talk to them. Really try to, try to, in you know, the 20 minutes or half an hour we have with them, try to get to know them as people. Um, creatively, that's 
a really fantastic thing to do because you're you're always you never know what how many cameras you're going to have what angles you're going to get it's always a very high pressure situation for that um, you know for that kind of one hour that you're you're getting set up and uh, and filming uh, you know these rock stars essentially and uh, you know we cover the gamut everybody from uh, you know the the little known artist who's just starting out to uh, you know to big signed stars and uh, guys who've been on you know doing this for 10 or 15 years when I, when I think about our audience, I think about a lot of different things. I think about the, uh, you know, the phone calls I get when, uh, when a program that regularly airs doesn't go on air for some technical reason. Um, but I really try to consider you know, every single person in our 100 plus thousand household reach, so I guess about a quarter of a million people, I, I consider every single one of them uh, my audience. Um, you know, I do my best to try to not to uh, try not to put anything that would scare people or shocking. You know, we have policies and guidelines, obviously, um, for, the, for the programming that goes on air. But I really think that, uh, you know, at any given time, there may be an opportunity where, you know, s you know 75 or 80 percent of those households might be watching my station for one reason or another. And um, I always try to, uh, I always try to uh, keep that in mind when programming, you know. For me, it's really, it's really a desire to see uh, our station become successful at what it does. Um, you know, liaising with the public, uh, teaching people how to shoot and edit, uh, talking with uh, nonprofits, service organizations, educational institutions, all of those things. Um, you know, it's all. I mean, it's all inspiring to me. It's, that's what makes me get out of bed in the morning is really knowing that today isn't going to be exactly the same thing as the day before. Um, and it's not even gonna be the same thing as I did three months before. I've been doing uh, film, television, video for coming up on 21 years in January and uh, it's never been the same day twice. And uh, for me that just not knowing what the day is going to bring as far as deadlines or uh, you know who I'm going to meet, who I'm going to talk to, what I'm going to learn today, all of those things combined just make me um, you know make me love to come to work. If I had the capacity, I would create an environment where people felt welcome, uh, you know, always. People always wanted to come around just so they could learn something, so they could watch, so they could, you know, become a part of something. There's, uh, you know, there's so many things in this world that, um, you know, that that pull us apart. And really, I guess, if I if I had the capacity, I would try to build a place where everybody felt accepted and comfortable, uh, you know, among among the other people that were there. Uh, and, and hopefully would be able to give people the ability to just feel comfortable in their own skin because I know that there are a lot of people in the world who don't feel comfortable with, with who they are but uh, it, you know, it, if it's that way for you now, it doesn't always have to be that way. You can, um, you know, there is a place where your, your ideas are welcome and uh, you know, your, your creativity is pretty much boundless because man, video and you can do just about anything and uh, that's a really a really in incredible moment when you discover a, a new trick or a new tool or a, you know a new way of doing something that that takes the shackles off of your creative expression and I feel that a lot of people in the community are, are responding to it you know we've uh, CMTV has been around just uh, just four short years and uh, we are certainly making an impression on a lot of the organizations that um, that utilize our services, a lot of the, the viewers that watch. Um, we give creative expression to videographers and filmmakers all over the all over the region um, as, as well as the tools that they need to do their jobs um, and uh, and hopefully you know we give them a little bit of inspiration as well. I think anybody who wants to be inspired by television and inspired by the world around them is uh, would be an audience member of ours, would be watching our station. 
um, you know, at least uh, one or two hours a week. Uh, we we broadcast a lot of programs you don't see on mainstream media or won't ever see in mainstream media, and um, we try to keep that locally centered, um, you know, in order to so that people at least feel some form of identity in Spokane is being represented on the channel.